Okay, good afternoon, everybody. We are live. Just let me make sure we're recording. We are. Hey, everybody, this is Dennis Wilborn. I want to welcome you to How to Make Money Trading Stocks and Options, plus a couple of trading tips. Um, for the, gosh, what is it? It is the 19th of February. Where is 2021 going? Uh, <laughs> We're already, I don't know if it's just a, a, a state of the, it, the day seems to go by faster, the older I get, uh, you know, I, or is it just that we're stuck at home, uh, you know, working out of our, our homes and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I want to welcome everybody. Uh, joining me also from uh, downtown Honolulu is uh, Dr. Steve Hafara. Steve, welcome. Nice to be here. And uh, we're always a pleasure to do, do work with you. And uh uh, we were just talking, I was talking briefly to Mark about, you know, it'd be really nice when we get back together and have a live, well, this is a live meeting, but have on an in-person meeting, which would be right. awesome. And so, hey, let's jump into today's session. We, we, we basically want to dedicate about 15 minutes. If we can get done in 15 minutes, that's great. But this is a once a week deal where we get in and we look at a couple of different things. One, we look at... Um, it is every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. We do a market index review, master trading tip, and then a stock of the, uh, of the week. Steve's got a really good stock that's setting up uh, looking into this. And now I'm going to make a couple of comments if, uh, about a couple of stocks I've been uh, looking at that would take advantage of the Bitcoin and, and uh, blockchain phenomena that's going on right now. Uh, some of these things that are happening, like blockchain, like like uh, uh, the uh, uh, Bitcoin and all that kind of stuff, and the related companies that are next to it, Steve, it reminds me a little bit of what things were like back in 1999. Yeah. Yeah, just Got before the- A little the bit of that flavor. Yeah, a little bit. Not, not totally, but yeah, a right. little bit. So- right. um, so what do we have today? One, my basically, remember what we do is for trading purposes, traders should always pay for trade any new method, probably the risk of their own personal capital. And so my trading tip for today is basically, are you a day trader? And I'll ask that, you know, if you're a day trader, you know, that's awesome. That's, a, you know, that, you know, that's phenomenal. But if your answer is no, then stop using the one minute and five minute charts. And I have a couple of reasons why I say that. One, your shorter time frame charts can lead to emotional and impulsive trade decision and wind up with you losing money that you do not need to lose. Uh, if you're a swing trader or a position trader, you know, look to the longer uh, intraday charts. If you use the intraday charts at all to enter your trades, um, and I, I, I know I, I like to use the 30 minute chart and the longer, you know, the hour chart and occasionally the two hour chart. And I'm gonna be come up with some training that I'll be put up posting over to the YouTube channel, Market Tech Talk uh, this weekend. That's gonna talk specifically about that. I've been working really hard on my research to, to come up with what are the triggers that I can take away from the daily and the interday 30 minute and, and hour chart that will help you better time your entries. Uh, if you are one who uh, basically over anticipates an entry, then uh, I think you'll enjoy this uh, particular training session. And again, I'm gonna try to get that posted on YouTube this weekend. So what else? Uh, swing traders look to th uh, 30 minutes to longer intervals and then use weekly and daily charts to actually plan your long-term strategy. Wealth, which is our focus for this year, wealth building. Wealth building is not built on a five minute chart. Wealth building is built on a weekly and a daily chart and occasionally a monthly chart because you want to get in on those longer term trends that show up where? On the longer term charts. And so that's what we'll leave you with. And then uh, finally, I said, do you need a tested and proven trading plan? Uh, if, you, if the answer to that is yes, then send me an email, dww at activetrendtraining.com. I'll be glad to share with you my rules. I have four rules to entry, a correction, three rules to enter, and about five rules to exit the trade. It's very simple. It's very straightforward. Just send me an email, and I'll make sure you get a copy of 
the active trend trading rules on one page. So let's go ahead and jump over to what is the indexes doing? Took a snapshot this morning. Um, the indexes are still all up, not as much up as they were last week at this time, uh, but we dropped off a little bit also. We, we pulled back a little bit uh, uh, from where we were. We were up um, you know, less than a 1% drop from where we were um, uh, la uh, last Friday. Uh, I love the active trend trading system because it kicked us out of trade, you know, kicked us out of positions and, and basically restricted our loss. And so we're basically managing our, our uh, uh, profits and also taking the insurance policy of ensuring that we never have more than a four to five percent loss on any one of the positions that we do have. So let's get in here and jump on the, make sure I got the right one coming up here. Is that it? That is it. Let's take a look at the S&P. Uh, as we see from last Friday, which was about right, uh, it was on the 12th, right there, it was last Friday. What have we done? We have driven sideways. Uh, however, a couple of things have in fact happened that I want you to be aware of. And uh, this is one of the things I've been, as I've been working on uh, developing, you know, my some of my research, I've been really watching my the uh, TSI, the uh, True Strength Index, and uh, the market forecast, but primarily uh, TSI, is once you get a crossover and it's a momentum shift to the downside, don't be so quick to take long positions. In other words, oftentimes what you'll find is the, the, that you may get a bounce off of a, you know, um, a moving average or something like that, but sometimes it can be very short lived. And so when I get the crossover, I want to basically be waiting a little bit longer for the momentum to shift back up the upside. And so if you find yourself making trades that you get stopped out of a lot, it may be because you've over anticipated the momentum shift and your longer term momentum has shifted to the downside and it is not in the, the momentum on the different time frames of chart are not in sync with each other. And so we'll be tying that all together for the presentation I'll be uh, uh, doing over the weekend. That'll be a taped uh, video uh, presentation. So uh, S&P on the weekly chart, as you can see, have a nice little formation here where we have definite negative divergence now. And I'll blow this up a little bit to see you know, do we have a, a uh, we really don't have, other than just a spinning top, not a reversal signal. So, so other than the convergence of the clues that we have negative divergence here on the market forecast, and if you're having a hard time seeing that, let me show you, this is negative divergence. Price is moving up higher, the uh, momentum indicators not making highs. So, so that's what we're looking at with the S&P. Not a lot to write home about. I do not have a trigger to get short. I do not have a trigger to get long at this particular point in time. We'll just be patient and wait. As Jesse Livermore said, he made most of his money by sitting on his hands. That's a paraphrase. <laughs> so uh, the cues. Now the cues are a little bit different story um, and a little bit uh, weaker, looking, weaker looking chart. And what I mean with that is we had a, it crossed over just after Monday of this week. Remember Monday of this week, what did we do? We gapped up and almost did immediately sell off. That is a bearish signal uh, or a you know, negative signal. Pushed us all the way down to the 20 day moving average. And then we're pushing back up. However, and this is a perfect example of what I'm talking about is TSI had rolled over. We push back up to where a past level of resistance didn't go any higher than that. Now, does that mean it can't break out of that? It doesn't mean that at all, but it's just that, that as we started to do this rally attempt, it was suspect and we hit into the level of support, a correction resistance, and now we're rolling back over. On the weekly charts, on the weekly charts, we do have a, if, if we close right where we are today, we have a bearish engulfing signal for the week based on last week's chart. We also have TSI continuing to cross over and it appears like it wants to break to the downside. 
So the lesson here is if we get a strong crossover on TSI and the market forecast or just TSI by itself, even on the weekly chart, just be careful, be patient with your rebound, wait for the momentum shift before you jump back into, into a trade. IWM, no, not IW, representing the Russell. Also, you know, it actually has come down, got a nice bounce off the 20 and then is rebounding back up. It looks like the momentum wants to shift back up. So we are watching this, uh, the, the Russell is the best performing uh, entity uh, today. Yeah, it's, it's strong day. You betcha, David, it is. Hey, Dave, how you doing? And so it is pushing back up. We'll see where it wants to go from here because if it does, now one of the things I have noticed and I, uh, as, as I put together this study is in, while that's positive that the uh, TSI is looking like it wants to bend back up, it has not crossed up yet. And therefore what we're seeing right there, right there is just a squeeze. So if, and as you can see, volume low on this rally attempt, we've moved back up into this zone up here. That is a zone of resistance because that's when the sellers came in previously. So if it gets stuck and can't push up into that area there, watch for a reversal back down to the downside on that. So that means that we're having a failed rally attempt, which is a classic move, a classic technical analysis move where after a move down, it pushes back up. And so that's what we're looking at for IWM. Let me get rid of this for a second. And so give us a little bit prettier picture. Classic pullback, and we'll see what happens here. If we stall, if the, the momentum stalls anywhere in there, we're looking at a classic topping type pattern that we would look to shoot back down to the downside. Steve, that's in. Um, Again, Steve, didn't have a signal to get in right. based on the momentum. However, uh, it is the strongest of the three, three entities that we track. And, and pretty much I agree with you. Um, I say 95%, maybe even more. Uh, I think for me, the biggest tell in the market this week is we had ample opportunity to sell off fairly strongly. And yeah. we have not. And that's kind of a Wyckoff concept. When the market doesn't do what you expect it to do, the opposite is true. So I see it as, and I see it particularly today, many things are beginning to set up again. I say two thirds of the IBD 50s in a buy today or wait for Monday kind of a mode. Yeah. So I see stocks setting up. I agree with you, we've not yet really turned to the upside, but I suspect that turn will come and I'd be ready to jump in maybe with a few positions today and certainly by Monday if it yeah. doesn't change. Yeah. And, and I agree with that philosophy, Steve, the, you know, the thing that I, that I, but, but the thing that I've been noticing and as I've done my analysis and my evaluations right. and my studies is that if that you're really looking for a momentum shift and, Correct. and, and, and if the momentum hasn't shifted yet, it's okay to take a support bounce like you have here off of the IWM. Right. However, this support bounce may be a little bit more risky. I agree. Than, than the support bounce it had down here, right. where then you get the cross back over, then you're in the green. Then you got right. you know a, a green light to go ahead. Hey, let's jump on this trade to the other I, side. I agree, and I, I do watch for the crossovers in various momentum indicators. I use, I like back D myself, but it doesn't matter which one you use. But I find when I wait for the actual crossover, I'm a bit late in the trade. Yeah. And that's why if I see it starting to strengthen, I, I start to really think about taking a position. Yeah. Well, with a and tight stop. <clears throat> if it doesn't play out, I'm out. Yeah, I agree wholeheartedly. And, and one of the things, and, and when, I, when you get one of these situations like this, like on, over here on the weekly chart, where... Right. You've got this this down in the lower reversal zone where it, you, where it's due to cross. I'm 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 more apt to take the position here for the run up. Right. Then we have to be more careful when you got a situation like this where yeah you're getting the bounce. That's right. 
uh, but it could roll either way. Correct. So, anyway, I agree. Cool stuff. I agree. So, hey, well, okay. What are you gonna? What are you gonna? What are you gonna try to sell us? There's several things I like, but I like WSCSM, WSM, Williams and Sonoma. Williams and Sonoma. I think Is that a wine company? Up quite well. Uh, in my opinion, it's with potential entry today, but yeah. you could wait till Monday. And I like the fact we've gone sideways for about two weeks on very low volume. Yep. And then starting yesterday and continuing today, the momentum seems to be shifting, not yet crossing in the, the ones I, I follow, but shifting right. to the upside and getting stronger. So I'm ready for an entry either today or wait till Monday. Okay, cool. I like that. I mean, I, I like where it's bouncing off of. Uh, when is it? it has earnings coming up on the... Um, I don't have that. Um, I've got earnings coming up on the 17th of March. And so it may be setting itself yeah, up. Yeah, still a ways, good, a month or so away. Yeah. Yeah. So it may be getting ready for a good earnings run. I, uh, I like this. It and is. also on this particular one, if you're an option trader, it does have, well, it only has uh, monthly options. And, and, uh, and so what's really cool about it, though, is you, the, uh, uh, it has the expiration on the 19th of March might coincide well for a potential move to the upside. And right. so, so I like it. And this is a, a, a classic kind of a box type pattern with a projection up that it's going to get up at least back up to about 40, 143. So yeah. I like it. Sounds good. And so I want to show what happened last week. Uh, we, we basically, we looked at this. I put an order on this on the Bay Area Moneymakers on Holix. That I was going to hold this area here at the 8063 level. It ripped to the downside. We had a stop to get us out of it at 79.75 approximately. And so we jumped out with about a 2% loss. Uh, but sometimes you get these hammers like this that you say, hey, that's awesome. That's a reversal signal. And as soon as the bottom of that hammer is taken out, it's time to jump out. It's time to hit the eject button and jump out of the airplane because it's going down in flames. That's correct. Yeah, I agree. So, hey, a uh, couple of things I just want to throw up here really quick. I'm not going to give an analysis on it, but if you are watching Riot. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's, just, <laughs> it's a spaceship. Absolute spaceship, rocket shipping to the thing. Just be aware on rocket. Okay, I put in a Fibonacci here, looking for some kind of pullback down into, you know, but it's got to drop down to, uh, before I'm even interested in it, it's got to drop down to about 47 bucks, maybe 50 bucks. The thing that I bring to your attention on this is that uh, depending on who your brokerage is, Riot and also its cousin Mara, have again it also did a you know a, a a you know huge move here doesn't look as dramatic but it is but they have different margin requirements i tried to throw in a a, a covered call on mara and the it, it basically the the margin requirement was uh it basically i had to cover all the expense of the in the, the the stock even though i was taking in a credit and uh, so there was no margin you couldn't buy the sucker on margin and on on riot you could buy it on margin but instead of being 50 percent or 60 percent margin it was like down at 20 25 percent so just be aware that your brokerage may in fact be working on that so hey steve that's it i was good a good session. I, I really like uh, WSM. And then, uh, so, hey, if you're looking for, you know, let's say you don't have enough time to spend, you know, chasing stocks all the time. Our autopilot trading system is working very well. If you want more information about that, uh, about how to switch to autopilot trading, just let me know. It is covered on our website. And then remember, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. So, we're going to basically say that's it for today. Let me make sure I'm, I'm hitting everything. Oh, um, I want to give a shout out to Anil, the uh, organizer for the Delaware IB, IBD meetup group. Uh, Amy Smith was on there yesterday evening. 
and I, I got to attend and just say a couple of words. And so if you're joining us for, for today's session from the group, welcome aboard. Uh, glad you made it. It was really a pleasure. Uh, let Anil know that I would be glad to present anytime he needs somebody to present. And so, uh, so 2021 reset and wealth building, that's what we're after. Uh, premium members will be back at the top of the hour for the final hour. And so from my home to yours, aloha, trade well, prosper, keep sharpening the saw. And as always, mahalo and God bless. And if you join us on YouTube, if you're not a member, a subscriber yet, subscribe on YouTube, hit the bell, be notified of new stuff. And then uh, I'll have a video that come, pops up right there. And uh, what I'm uh, featuring is um, uh, how to use Fibonacci's. And it's a two uh, lesson, uh, uh, two lesson video session uh, series. And that just comes up on YouTube, Market Tech Talk. So until next week, uh, our, uh, um, our watch list will be out later today. That is the uh, uh, Power Rank Elite watch list and uh, plus a copy and a link to this video. So Steve, thank you very much, my friend. We'll chat in the very near future. Got it. Thank you. Okay. Aloha, everybody.